To all the physics students out there, have you heard of the Kirchhoff's law? Try applying it here. So we have an email from an awesome viewer with an awesome name, Marcelo Rodkan. Hola Marcelo, I hope you're doing great, staying safe, staying awesome. The question is, I really like the mood of the photo and especially the color grading I was able to get. I wanted to publish it on Instagram, but the sky is packed with wires. I was going to remove wire by wire, but I do believe there's a clever way to fix it. Is there a clever way? Marcelo, my friend, we got you covered. Let's remove some wires today. Okay, many wires. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the magical world of Photoshop, and I do understand, although you don't want to work wire by wire, we can always try a little bit of cloning, a little bit of healing, and probably the most easiest, the spot healing brush tool. I should have said easiest, most is not necessary. Anyway. Let's create a brand new layer by clicking on the plus icon right in there and zoom in and I'm going to teach you a shortcut. All you got to do first is to choose the spot healing brush tool. All right. And then just dab once. All right. Once you dab in right there on one end, then hold the shift key dab on in here and it draws a straight line. Then just move around by holding the space bar and hold the shift key again and dab in here. See, it continues. Hold the shift key again and dab. Hold the shift key again and dab. Now, it might leave some lines here and there. No problem at all. You can always cover that. Well, it's working great. However, when you're working with something like this, let's dab in right there and let's dab on the other side. Well, it isn't very good. It kind of gets some places. Some places it's kind of messy and no matter how many times I paint, but I'm sure we can get over that, right? So we can dab in here. Probably let's continue from there and Let's see if we can fix it. It's kind of tricky. Let's try right here. Wow, it does a pretty good job. But then again, there's this line. It's sampling from a place I don't want it to sample from. Probably we have to move to the healing brush tool and then, you know, remove it. But have a look at the photos. There's still so many wires. Okay, I give up. I would probably age and get old doing all this. Uh, it's just, Mar Marcelo, I would rather have you just visit this place again, climb on these buildings, just cut the wires and take the photo. Wait, it can be a little dangerous though, because it's Corona time, of course. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? watched Pixel Perfect long enough, you already might have guessed where we are going with this, haven't you? So once you have the selection of the sky using your favorite method, all you gotta do is to click on the mask button holding the Alt key or the Option key to create a negative mask. Now the sky is empty. All you gotta do is to fill in a new sky. So from our Finder or Explorer, let's drag it and drop it into Photoshop. Now of course we want the sky to be underneath. So first of all, let's adjust it properly. Let's make it a little larger. Hit enter or return. Let's take it underneath. And there you have it. Now, of course, we need to adjust the size. A little bit of color matching by creating a hue saturation adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and then choosing hue saturation. Now the saturation has to go down. If you look at the original sky, look, the saturation was pretty low. All right, let's take the saturation down to about minus 54. That sounds pretty okay. Also, the original sky was a little cyan-ish. Have a look, right? Bluish, cyan-ish. So let's go to the properties of the hue saturation by clicking on this icon right there, and then just play with the hue to make this a little cyan-ish. There you have it, the wires gone. So here is the before. A jungle of wires. And here is the after. Not the answer you were expecting, were you? Now you must be wondering, what about these wires? How do you remove those? That's easy now. There are less number of wires to worry about. All you gotta do is to choose the spot healing brush tool and just remove it in a way so that it looks that the wire does not even extend. So for example, the wire is extending from right there. All you gotta do is to make the brush big enough, bigger than the wire. Just dab once, hold the shift key, Dab again, dab again, dab again. It'll make it look that the wire ends on the pole. 
When you zoom out, you can't even tell. And that's what you do with a couple of wires. There are two, three, four, five, six wires this side and a couple of wires that side. That's pretty easy to do. Let me share with you one more example. Look at this. This big wire is extending. All you got to do is to just dab, hold the shift key, dab again and do that again, do that again. And till this point, you can't even tell. That's where the wires are ending. Now, of course, there are a couple more wires here. No problem. Just dab. Gone, 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 boom, absolutely gone. And by the way, if you think the edge of your selection is a little too harsh, all you have to do is to just feather it even after creating the mask. Just select the mask, open the properties by clicking on this button or simply going to window and then properties if you cannot see it. And then in the mask properties, just increase the feather to about, let's say, two pixels. It's a little smoother, but too smooth. Let's go for one pixel. That's more like it. Have a look. Finished. Marcelo, this one is for you. So what did we learn from this video, my friends? We didn't learn how to change the sky. We did not learn how to remove the wire or we did not even learn a Photoshop technique. We learned how to be practical. You see, when it comes to solving problems with Photoshop, we just have to be practical. If there are too many wires, it just doesn't make sense to spend ages removing them. Also, if the obvious method of troubleshooting does not help, you just have to take the back door sometimes. Thank you so very much for watching this video and thanks to our sponsor Envato Elements. If you're looking for creative assets, stock photos, stock videos, Photoshop plugins, presets, actions, and I don't know what not, 3D models, sound effects, music tracks, everything unlimited, Envato Elements gives you millions of assets with unlimited downloads. Yes, with a fixed monthly fee, you can download as much as you want and you don't have to pay for each and every one of them. Isn't that amazing? So check the link in the description for the latest offers. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.